Now I want to show you a very useful function called shift time. Shift time is great for making changes to a pre-existing timeline when you need to move certain things up or down the timeline, but consider what happens afterwards and what happens before. If I right click here in the brightness track between two single values, I get the option to shift time. This allows me to add or subtract time from this track. If I add a second, you'll notice that the brightness value will be moved on one second, like so. However, as with everything in the timeline, the hierarchy is always considered. For example, shift time within the color track and all color values will be affected. In the same way, if I shift time within the color track, but subtract two seconds, then all color values will be included. Always consider what happens after and what happens before, and especially consider the command tracks as well. If I need to make sure that everything in my timeline is going to be affected because I need to place more values into the timeline itself, then go right to the top of the network, right click, shift time, and add your timings in here. Then you know that everything within the hierarchy will be affected, including your commands. This is especially useful when you have a timeline with many tracks, potentially many hypnotizers, and you need to move everything along in order to make space for new programming. It is always possible to use the diamonds to make changes within the timings of your timeline. However, do bear in mind that they won't necessarily affect everything that happens after that point. So if I want to move all of my color controls, I can take the diamond from the top of the network, move that down or up the timeline as I like. Same can be said with all other values. And I can even group select if I want. However, always bear in mind that there may be certain sections of your timeline further down other scenes or acts of your show that should be considered. Hence why the difference between shift time and single diamond control of events is always worth considering which is more appropriate. Diamonds are also useful when you need to resync certain sections and make sure that everything is happening at the right time. You'll notice as you bring your diamonds together, they will turn yellow to show you that all values now exist within the same point.